Hello and welcome to Dell's Gaming. I'm Dell and we're in from the Depths Designer and one of my little favourite little places designing various ships and other vehicles. So today, after the campaign, need some aircraft and some air superiority and just basically something to attack the air air vehicles. Now I thought that instead of going down the AA ship some aircraft would be good. So I've been doing some testing with uh, weapons and I did build this little um, float plane. So this is the Avro float plane. Um, I'm classing them all as seaplanes but this is more accurately a float plane. So the floats keep it out of the water and it can take off from the water and when it's not in combat it will settle back down into the into the water. So this is just going to be a... it's it's not superb, it is fairly cheap, only 4,000, uh, just over 4,000 resource points. So we can bring in a little flight of these and a flight of four can take on things like goffers eventually and shikes. Um, it will take on a squirrel, I did test it against that, um, but it works as a group, on their own, not very powerful, four of them, or more, and, you know, they will whittle down an enemy quite nicely. So that's the start, but what we also need is a, um, what should we call it, uh, yes, the propeller is misshapen to, so that uh, the uh, sensors can look through the front. It's a bit weird, I know, but just class it as, you know, intermittent firing for guns and the same for that from propeller. You know. Anyway, just go with it. Um, what we need is a slightly larger ship, which is still going to be a seaplane. So we're actually going to do this more as a true uh, float, uh, instead of a float plane, a proper seaplane. Um, is my idea uh, and this is going to be intended to act as the a the, the spotter uh, and patrol craft because so we don't put big radar on it and all of the detection gear because one other issue with the um, uh, fighters is they they've only got one detection unit which hasn't got all-round vision um, so they rely on communicating to each other and having a an aircraft that tells them what is actually around. I also want a vehicle um, which is going to um, have a long wider radar cross-section than we have currently. So it's going to go high up in the air, airborne. Now you can do this with satellites and and other um, little probes, even uh, vehicles which just have a uh, balloons. You can get them up high enough. But I'm going to do it as a plane. The other side of this, this will be also repairing the fighters and giving them resources. Potentially also. Um, firing long-range weapons, primarily missiles I think in this case, at the vessels that the fighters are harassing. Okay, so first stage, um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a lot of wood, I don't want this too heavy, we're going to have a, a, a core of this light aluminium, A to, so it's um, nice and floaty, um, but also just as a bit of protection for the central core of the uh, unit. Now I'm expecting this to need to transmit data between vehicles and potentially have quite a lot of various cards and other items on here. We're going to start with a name. I'll put that there. That's just a, 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 hold, a holding point really if anything. Um, let's just kind of go through, see what else we need. We'll put some, we don't need, a, we don't have a lot of uh, detection on this, so might as well put plenty of 
cards. Now, one thing I'm going to try and do this is have this skirt around so it won't go like most aerial AI, they go straight over the top. Now, I don't want that, so I'm going to have to work on that. Um, my basic plan is first of all, build the main body of the plane and put in some weapons and then make it fly <laughs> and then we'll work on the floats and the hull basically and this will be more ship like rather than float like uh, as that one is but we'll work on that as we as we go through um, I'm also the styling is going to be slightly old style World War one as as the Avro over there is a World War one style float plane this will be a similar sort of style um, seaplane and yeah, obviously the weapons are to be upgraded but that's the styling I'm gonna go for I think but to before we can start putting wings on we need to get most of the body um, set up that's one of the main th parts about planes before you start planning the wings get the main body sorted because the wings will depend on where the mass point is and the mass points don't depend on where most of the body and weaponry etc is assuming you're putting the weaponry mostly on the body which I'm sort of intending to so um, let me come back in a little bit once I've filled out a few items on this plane
and welcome back after I've done a fair bit of work on uh, this vessel the shorts patrol so 12,000 uh, material cost which actually um, isn't bad at all I think for the size of, of uh, vessel it's not overly offensive I've got to say it's mainly got a few missiles but it's more defensive and relies on the escort ships um, some nice bits in the build which I thought was quite good so I've made the uh, radar dish effectively the lower wing which um, is an interesting way to do it I thought uh, just to give you know it looks like it's a, a wing but uh, it's actually the radar dish so and it's also armoured because the radar dish actually has a higher armour value so it actually acts as a bit of armour but you know if this gets into close combat with an aircraft or an enemy ship then it's not really going to be uh, holding out it's, the aim is to run away just like modern you know search um, air, air control vehicles you know sentries etc now it's got quite a few sensors to be able to provide data to the uh, attacking ships and yeah we've got four nice um, quad rotary engines in there so four cylinder rotary engines uh, plenty of power uh, more power than I need for this it actually flew st the first time very well um, which was surprising normally with planes it takes me ages to balance up the wings and the, 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 and the mass but this fairly much flew straight away offensively we've got the short range uh, simple cannons just for short range I find these are very effective rather than worrying about APS for their size they work very well uh, these are some infrared missiles for anything that gets within about 1000 meters so that's our medium range defensive missiles on each side and these are our long range 2000 meter missile so um, anything that's within 2000 gets a radar guided missile at them and we have got some flares that will drop out the bottom um, and finally a few torps anything in the in the sea far enough away it will send some torps out there Ooh, notice the block I haven't painted never mind yes I got a little over the top with painting but hey I don't know it just got got me I uh, my uh, OCD got into me and I had to paint everything um, which I think is quite reasonable now this would go in with other vehicles so what I've given it is a couple of the Avro fighters and I've also created a fairy torpedo bomber so what we're going to do I'll bring them all in and then we'll do a couple of battles against something just to see how this performs with the other ships and we can also see that it is actually going to come out of the water so let me just spawn everything in quickly so just as a quick test what I've brought in is a marauder for our bombers and a couple of dusters which are escorting the marauder and we'll see how our uh, flight does against them so when they, when they detect that there is enemies everybody's engines speeds up and they will climb um, out of the water it's uh, quite a, an aggressive climb out of the water at first but uh, I'm hoping it won't make me wrong and uh, do something weird we had a little collision there but let's just see how they manage now we're going to go and have a look at some of the other aircraft so these are the um, these are the torpedo bombers, the fairy. I am called this fairy swordfish, but yes, it is partially based upon that. And it looks like that's already damaged, which is uh, not good. Never mind. And then we have our fighters who have missiles. And they're having a missile battle with the dusters and they've got some nice actual APS guns on them as well rather than just uh, relying on they have got this auto cannons and they've done quite well there 
Okay, so these are my offensive and... Oh! Yep, got wasted. Never mind, that, that sort of happens. But these are only light um, costs, you know, 4,000 points. So if we lose one or two, so be it. They're not the fastest thing in the world. Uh, So our, and this is our patrol craft, so you can see it's already launched some torpedoes out at the um, at the enemy, but it's generally done a skirt, it, it, it's set to go around about 60%, uh, 60 degrees, so it, it doesn't turn in very much, it's going to keep, not quite broadside, but fairly much, and here we have the tor fairy torpedo bomber who's also launched some torpedoes. And then we'll go in close enough to do a bombing run. I just realised there's there is something I've I've left off them, um, but we'll sort that out in a little bit. It hasn't got any bot bots to help heal itself. Another torpedo launched out, and now it should go in for a nice little bomb run, dropping some mind bombs. There we go. So these are magnetic thumper bombs. Which will, there we go, just uh, start coming in and all the torpedoes are also coming in and hitting it. Okay, I'm happy with with that. There's a, it's certainly taken out that type of vessel. I don't think that marauder is going to last too long now. I'll have to sort out the other fairly quickly but our other battle was I want this to go against air vehicle so what we'll do is bring in an air vehicle as a test for our aircraft I've brought in a gotha which is what attacked us in the campaign and also an atlas just to see how it does against um, airships as well so we'll release everything off and then we will see how they fare. Hopefully I have sorted out the fairies this time so they don't collide with each other. So yeah, we've got a quite high climb. That's the way the AI works. And I have to make those ships not be so close together. That's not good. It's the only problem. They, they don't sort of try to avoid each other. Now the Gotha, as an example, has is very powerful at the front. Um, has shields and this bloody great big weapon. So as long as they can survive through that, we might lose one. Yeah, we've lost one, but it will be get healed by its mate. Um, got some missiles being sent in from the patrol, and then the Avros send their missiles in. Now it's got close enough to this that it's launching its flares and also the auto cannons are launching. It's also going even higher. When someone gets close, it will go higher and try to uh, uh, get away from the um, opponent. Now, unfortunately, the fairies aren't going to be much use here because they are primarily anti-ground, but they do have some simple weapon, uh, some auto cannons, which don't do a bit of damage. And we actually have hit something critical. Excellent. And just against the Atlas, just see, so the Avros actually went in for the Atlas. You can see they've, uh, they've almost brought it down. And the Fairies might even launch their, uh, their mines against these, this. 
certainly once it gets low into the ground it will get uh, mined. Okay, so this is my little air force. It's It's got limited function. It's going to rely more on numbers than quality, I think. But it's going to be interesting. As you can see, the uh, short patrol is staying at distance and throwing missiles into the the mix just to uh, add some extra damage. I could put a big gun on the patrol, but don't forget its main role is to act as a patrol vessel with the radar and just give targeting information. Okay, I think that's done a gives us an idea of what it'd be like. So next, we'll see what it's like up against the, deep, the Deepwater Guardian in an uh, actual battle. So, next time you see them, we should be in the campaign. Hopefully we'll get a, a target. We'll have uh, the monitors against um, primarily ground seaborne targets, and then we'll use this new force against aerial targets. I'll bring in plenty of the Avros, I think. I quite like the Avros. They're, they're quite an interesting little uh, vessel. That one's gone upside down, which is not good, but hey-ho. Anyway, until next time, keep playing the game and have fun.